these creme brulee donuts are absolutely worth all the hype episode 28 of making my boyfriend a recipe book mix together all the ingredients for your dough until you get a rough ball shape and then you're going to turn it out into a surface and knead it if you have a stand mixer this is going to be a lot easier but i want to show that you can do it by hand it takes about 15 minutes of kneading but it is possible after letting the dough rise turn it out into a floured surface and roll it until it's about this thin and then just cut out your circles and we're gonna let this rise again. After rising, cut the parchment paper around each donut, and this is just gonna make it a lot easier to fry. Fry it in hot oil for about 30 seconds on each side. And then for the filling, I used cream cheese, whipped cream, and strawberry jam to make a strawberry cheesecake filling. For the creme brulee topping, boil sugar and water until golden, and then just dip in your donuts and add a strawberry heart. Now listen to this. When I saw this comment, I knew I had to try it. So the idea is you take a glazed donut and roll it into a ball, and that becomes the cake part of a cake pop. So super easy. For the next step, you're going to melt your white chocolate with your refined coconut oil just like before, dip your cake pop sticks into the donut pops, freeze for 30 minutes, and then they're ready for their final dip, plus any sprinkles or toppings you want to add. These are so simple and fun to make, and they are super, super, super sweet. I'm going to use this recipe to make glazed donuts in under 15 minutes. The star of the show is going to be canned buttermilk biscuits. Go ahead and pop those bad boys open, lay them out on a piece of parchment paper, and then use any tool you have in your kitchen to cut out a hole in the center. You're gonna wanna save all those little pieces because we're gonna make some donut holes in the end. I'm using canola oil, but you're gonna wanna use any high heat oil and start heating it up to 350 degrees as we prepare the glaze. All you need for this super simple glaze is powdered sugar, heavy whipping cream, and vanilla extract. Really all you do is combine these all together until it gets to the consistency that you want it and then set it aside as you start to fry the donuts. These are going to fry really fast, about 30 to 45 seconds on each side, so make sure you keep an eye on them. Let them cool down just a little bit when they're done and then dip each donut into the glaze that we made. Once all the big boys are done, do the same thing with those tiny little donut holes that we took out and you're good to go. Whenever there's kids around, let's make the recipe you guys all been waiting for. The dreamy Nutella stuffed donuts. You're gonna start with a cup of warm milk, two and one fourth teaspoon of yeast, tablespoon of sugar, cover, rest for five minutes. Once the yeast looks like this, it's ready to go. Now add two eggs. Make sure the eggs are room temperature, a fourth teaspoon of salt, splash of vanilla extract, add four cups of flour, a third cup of room temperature butter, two tablespoons of cream cheese or sour cream. Knead the dough for 10 minutes. Remove to a floured surface. Roll it out into about half an inch thick. Use a cookie cutter to cut circles, or any cup will do. Once the dough is cut, cover and rest for 30 minutes. While it's resting, a separate plate, put one cup of sugar and a tablespoon of cinnamon, mix it well and set aside. Now fry your donuts. You're looking for a golden brown color. Once they're ready, remove from the oil and dip into your cinnamon sugar mixture. Repeat the same process with the rest of your donuts. Now add a jar of Nutella into a piping bag. Stuff your donuts and you're ready to enjoy. Make sure to follow for more. Let's make some donut bites. These are so easy. You only need two ingredients for the dough. So I'm using a cup of light Greek yogurt and a cup and a half of self-raising flour. I'm sifting the self-raising flour, but you don't have to do this. And then you just want to mix them together to form the dough. Now it is a little bit crumbly, so just trust the process. Bear with me. You want to knead the dough and then pull a little bit off and roll it into with the palms of your hands, roll it into these little balls and you can just keep doing this until you've used up all the dough bake these in the oven for about 10 minutes and then we're going to dip them into some melted butter and cinnamon sugar and you can make your own cinnamon sugar by mixing together caster sugar and cinnamon and then just dipping the little dough balls into the butter and the cinnamon sugar and these are so delicious so easy hope you enjoy we're never buying donuts again. That's exactly what my husband said the first time he tried these. And guys, when I tell you the dough is so good, I preferred it without filling. Just roll it in cinnamon sugar and ah, so good. <laughs> So starting with our instant yeast, we're going to add warm water to it and we're going to let it sit for five to 10 minutes until it gets nice and fluffy and fizzy. While we wait for that, we're going to go ahead and start heating our oil to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. And once our yeast mixture is ready, I'm going to add my sugar, my salt, my melted butter, warm milk, three eggs, and part of our flour. We're only going to add three cups of flour here. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can use a whisk for this part. We're just going to mix it until it's this consistency. And then I'm switching to a paddle 
bottle attachment, but if you're not using a stand mixer, just go ahead and use your hands from this point. You just wanna mix and knead it until it becomes nice and smooth and silky like this. Now into a well greased bowl, just so it doesn't like stick and make a huge mess. We're gonna put that really, really soft dough and then we're gonna cover it well and let it rise for an hour. And then like magic, it doubled in size. You can see how sticky it is there. That's why I put on gloves because yeah, it was just, it was a lot. Now I put that dough onto a very well, well floured surface and I rolled it out. This is where you decide, do you want perfection or do you just want something that tastes good? Because if you don't care about what it looks like, just go ahead and use a circle cutter, put those circles on parchment paper. Your fingerprints are gonna be in it just because the dough is very soft. So I decided to roll them into those little balls by pinching the bottom together and just rolling it in my hand. I cut the parchment paper after they rose for an additional 30 minutes and now I'm just dropping the donut and the parchment paper in the oil after about 30 seconds you can just pull the parchment right out and this just helps prevent any like fingerprints and stuff like that fry them until golden brown on both sides make sure you keep a close eye on that temperature though nothing over 350 and then you can just toss them in sugar like i did here and honestly they were so good like that but you could also fill them with diplomat cream which is just pastry cream and whipped cream or lemon curd i'll tag my lemon curd recipe in the caption and i'll also share the diplomat cream recipe soon emoji donut but in real life a new series opening a poppy i like to have a little beverage as i bake and let's get started warm milk and active yeast mix 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 adding the sugar cracking an egg oh and don't forget to let your yeast bloom first and to the mixer we go we did add flour then i will be slowly adding butter and now we mix until we have the perfect dough this might take a minute so trust the process the dough should look like this and it's time to roll it out as thin as you can get it then i'm taking a circular cutter i'm saving the scraps for later let me know if you want to see what i'm doing with it then i'm taking a flour cutter and we cut it and it's time to let the dough rest so see you soon welcome back for part two after taking a little nap they double the size should look like this and we dump them into hot oil this is canola oil do not fry with olive oil just do your research anyways letting them cool and they're giving Krispy Kreme then the little munchkin is that what it's called but now since the emoji is covered in chocolate and sprinkles so is my work of art so as seen here i prepare them then move them to a little plate oh and i did make Krispy Kreme from the other ones but that's a different recipe adding glitter and should look like this but now i need to show you the inside because i'm onto something here like oh my god should look like this okay well bye